Hello everyone, my name is Chris and today I'm gonna show you my first attempt at making diorama. I'm using this cheap tractor I bought on Wish that actually inspired me to start this project. Before I take it apart, there's one thing I need to do first and that is making some tire tracks on the road surface. I'm spreading a little bit of milliput on the diorama base using some water to smooth it out. Then I drove the tractor back and forth several times to achieve overlapping tracks. After leaving that to cure, I disassembled the vehicle and used nitro molds to strip the only die-cast part which was the body of the tractor. I am scraping all the mold lines with the back of my X-Acto knife. This will give it a cleaner look once painted. After a brief while, tractor was stripped and ready for a date with my hobby files and steel wool. Dry fitting the part revealed an ugly gap in the exhaust, which I filled with a short piece of styrene rod. I also chopped the end of the exhaust off and replaced it with a cooler one scavenged from a cheap model tank kit. I wasn't gonna replace the tires but I lost the original ones down the drain so I was left with no choice but to 3D print some spare ones. I used some brass tubing to make the wheels fit the original axle. I glued those together and while the glue is not fully set, I roll the wheels on the desk to make sure they are parallel with each other. I primed the tires white, followed by a coat of bright yellow. Everything else received a thin coat of black primer.
I was trying to mimic paint job on John Dee's tractors, but I failed miserably by choosing the wrong shade of green. The cabin, driver's seat and steering wheel were painted with dark grey. I've used the same grey to paint mud guards and few random spots on the tractor. I've used Vallejo steel to paint the exhaust and the chassis. I then carefully paint the tires with black. I've washed all the parts with heavily thinned down dark brown wash. I mix some dry dirt with matte varnish and use that to add mold to tires and the lower parts of the vehicle. I wasn't patient enough to paint the iconic yellow stripes on the sides, so I simply used water slide transfers to achieve similar effects with fraction of the effort.
Now onto the actual diorama. I've used wall filler to build up texture and smooth out the edges. After leaving it to dry for a few minutes, I sanded them down with a sanding block. Then I painted it with dark brown and applied Mod Podge followed by adding more dirt I gathered from my allotment. While that was drying, I made a simple fence out of balsa wood strips. I painted it brown and dry brush with grey to get that aged wood look. I pre-drilled few holes and simply used super glue to attach it to the diorama. I took some grass tufts and flowers with Mod Podge and used my freshly bought static grass applicator for the first time, which ended up being dreadful and disappointing. I had to apply three layers of 2mm static grass to achieve somehow bushy grass effect. I 3D printed a crow and a dog and added those two to diorama to make some little points of interest.
As a last step I added some larger dads to the sides and the middle of the road and sealed it with isopropyl alcohol and scenic glue. Then was a matter of tidying the edges with dark brown paint and it was done. I've made it for my friend who is a big fan of farming simulator games. There is a room for improvement but my friend loves it and that's what matters most to me. I hope you liked the video, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.